So guys, before I dive in here, this is a link audit, but it's a very basic link audit. In the more advanced section, I will do a hell of a lot more on reverse engineering your competition. But for those of you who are starting the game and uh, maybe inherit a website and you want to do a link audit as part of your site audit, then this is the very basic steps that you need to do. Now, I use two different tools, one being SEMrush, second one being Ahrefs, just to collaborate um, and, and you know basically compare the data that they both give. Now, I've done a backlink audit on my website using SEMrush, and this is a really good example. So at the moment, my website's been spammed to death by someone using automated link building and smashing it at my website. Now, why would someone do that? It's obviously a competitor or someone who didn't like something I said at a conference or whatever it might be. Regardless, this is why it's really important to do a regular link audit. So run the, the website through SEMrush and it will come back and show me referring domains, analyze backlinks and so on. Now, <laughs> it's obviously shown my overall toxicity score as high because someone's spamming me to death and I'll go into more on that later. But you want to analyze someone's website when you're giving it an audit to see if that's happening to them or if they're in a good place. And SEMrush will give you an idea of what's toxic, what's not, and what might even be close to being toxic. Now it's in by no means set in stone that SEMrush always get this right. Simply use it as a guide. At times, certainly the anchor text used, if it looks like a money term, then SEMrush can flag that as potentially toxic. And we can look at the different stuff here. You know, we've got a whole bunch, if we click on the green section, of non-toxic domain names. And these are just authority score, toxicity score, they, they all tick all the right boxes. And, uh, and then we can go back to the overview and click on potentially toxic which is the orange section and if you have a look at the tool it will tell you the toxicity score and it will tell you um you know the anchor text and, and obviously um it will tell you that links with anchor text that are not related to the website's brand name or a keyword um it could be potentially toxic and that one is most likely to be toxic because it's not doing anything other than it's Chinese spam. Now, again, when you go to the actual toxic ones, um, let me just click on the red part. So I've got a whole bunch of these and someone is absolutely slamming me to death. And you can see these are all Chinese. They're very, very spammy looking, have a very high toxicity score. Now, you can go in and we can disavow these using SEMrush, um, and I'll show you how to do a disavow in the next video. However, I just wanted to show you how you analyze and do a link audit. So using SEMrush, you can go through there, analyze it all, move it over to the disavow file, upload that, and basically say to Google, these are not my crappy spammy links because that's not what you want to have attributed towards your website. Now, these links will never disappear. SEMrush don't have access to these links to remove them, but basically by uploading a disavow file, you're telling Google that these are not you. These are not to be associated with your website. Now, we go to Ahrefs, and again, we can have a look at the backlinks and just have a quick look at what's going on. And we can see some decent stuff there. And um, we can see what's new. We can see the volume of backlinks that's coming through, which is obviously very unnatural to get 305 backlinks in a day. And we can see the groups of similar links. And you can see it's all Chinese, spam or Japanese or whatever that might be. Um, and obviously someone's using an automated tool to do that. As I say, there's a lot of weird people in the world. If you put your neck out there, uh, people will sometimes want to to damage um, your business or whatever it might be. So that's obviously what's happening here. But more importantly, it can happen to your competition. You could have a, uh, an unscrupulous competitor someone might just be being spammed to death. It may be the old SEO who's lost the gig spamming the website or whatever it may be, but it's really important to make sure that you do 
do a link audit and identify if there is any spam there, any toxicity and disavow that garbage. And obviously then go on and use these tools to analyze the good links that your competitors have got and uh, try and cherry pick that good stuff. But we will go into more of that stuff when it comes to actual link building in the section. So that is how you do a link audit. You probably want to use SEMrush because it's more in depth. You can use Ahrefs and see what you've got. I prefer SEMrush because it's got the whole um, part where you can disavow the links and everything else and add them to a disavow file, export that disavow file and then go and send it to Google, which I will show you in the next video.